Good morning. We are on the record in the 53rd Circuit Court for the County of Sheboygan. And uh, we're calling the case of Ulrey v. Carter, file 17-8670 and I. It's a Zoom hearing and we are providing uh, continued public access online. Good morning, Council. You want to state your appearances for the record? Good morning. Adrian Logan on behalf of the plaintiff. Jack Deegan on behalf of Defendant Carter. Good morning, Your Honor. Angela Harmon Cool on behalf of Rivertown Auto Group. Okay, and do any of you know whether Mr. Consolo is planning to appear today or no? I don't know, but I've not seen any objections or any emails from him regarding either way. Okay. All right. Well, and um, it looked as though this case uh, did resolve substantively at facilitation, uh, but sadly then the plaintiff has passed away from unrelated issues and now it's just a procedural matter of, of uh, handling this properly. Um, Ms. Logeman, you wanna go ahead and say anything you want with regard to your motion? Uh, yes, I did furnish a copy to defense counsel, including uh, Matthew Consolo as well last week a copy of the pro probate paperwork from Cook County um, with the backups unfortunately with uh, death certificates. It took some time to get the death certificate issued. And then the trust documentation was furnished to all the defendants to see if that was adequate to satisfy them with that person being a pro proper legal authority to sign. And the request back from defense counsel was they would rather have it be formally opened in an estate practice. My office is sending over to you as well a copy of the preceding paperwork that have already been filed. There's a waiver by uh, Lisa Holler, the, the, the daughter, um, acknowledging that John Ulrey will become the personal representative of the estate. That hearing was set to happen, um, I think about three weeks ago, but John unfortunately had a medical issue and was hospitalized for a week or two. Um, and it now is postponed to August 10th. So I was going to propose that I submit an order to the court substituting um, the party essentially to be the estate of Joanne Yulry, um, represented by the personal representative, John Yulry, um, and then just say that that will be a finalized you know, order effective um, within like a week after that, that date of August 10th. So I was thinking August 17th, it would be formalized. And then at that point, once they have the PR paperwork, then we could just simply wrap things up and enter a dismissal before this court. Okay. Uh, Ms. Harmon Cool, any objections or uh, any, any position on that? Um, just a couple of things. I, I, yeah, I think we need the letters of authority um, so John can execute any release. And the settlement amount, I mean, I, I think we may need to put, um, you know, the settlement on the record after Mr. Alry becomes a personal representative. That's fine. We could either do it on the record or I have no problem doing it um, VI if they wanted a document signed it as well. I don't care. Okay. Mr. Deegan? Um, uh, all fine with me. That sounds like a good plan. Okay, so Ms. Logeman, you wanna submit an order under the seven day rule then? Yes, please. And is, is the preference just for clarity, should I have it say that there will be a re-notice for the settlement to be put on the record with the PR appearing before the court? Do you want me to proceed with that then? If uh, Ms. Harmon, if, if one of the defendants would like that, then uh, yes, I think we can go ahead and do that, but we'll allow that to be by Zoom for all parties. Thank okay. you very much. Great, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Have a Thank nice you all day. very much. Have a, Have a good day. Thanks. Bye-bye. All right. And our remaining docket uh, this morning is going to be on the domestic docket, which uh, is open to the public, but we're not going to provide the enhanced public access online. So we will uh, go back on the online record at uh, 3 p.m. for a couple of criminal cases.